What's up, you guys? Welcome back. It's your boy Jesse, and as you can see, if you if it looks kind of familiar, we're here at McDonald's Customs. I came to uh, visit Henry at his shop. It's been a minute, but of course I see him every other day. But I came here just to ask some questions because of my truck. But check this shit out. Surprise! Look at that shit. Wow. So as you guys can see in the previous video, uh, you know, Henry has been doing multiple uh, ramp conversions and damn, you know, he gets down because this thing is straight as fuck. Shout out to Henry. <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> and of course I've been busy and I'm trying to upload as much since it's the summertime. I got a little more time, but I'm gonna answer some, some other questions because you guys still ask a lot of questions in my uh, in other video and then <laughs> First thing first, you know, where's Henry at? He's in Compton. Here's his number. And then that's his IG. So first thing first, do not call him. He's busy. It's a busy B. Busy B. Yeah. It's hard to answer calls when I'm working, you know? Just text me, I'll get to you. <laughs> so text him, as you can see, he has a lot of work. And then I know he's kind of like, kind of getting booked up. But for sure, if you guys have any questions, Hit him up. He'll be answer. He'll be answering all your questions, and for sure that caught me by surprise because he has a lot of projects going on. Because you know your boy here could squeeze in those lines. Because I came here to ask him about my 1950, just to replace like some gaskets and some uh, maybe an oil pan. But uh, for sure, here's another question that you guys may asking: How much does it cost? Now that varies. You know, depending on you guys coming with a truck all dinged up, that costs a lot. And then, you know, especially, you know, depending on what front end you guys want. If you guys, you know, pay attention closely, my sister got the limited 1500, which is the, the higher tier. But this is a regular standard V8, 1500 Hemi V8 uh, front end. As you, as you, if you guys could tell, it's like a it's like a higher bulb. It's bigger, but that thing looks clean. So it's depending on the body trims you guys want, it varies in prices, you know. But other than that, you know, Henry could just, you know, Give you any trim that you guys ask for, you know, even they even sell Rebel ones, La, La, La Marty's, what is it called? The Rammies? Yeah. The Big Horns. You know, I know Ram has a lot of trims, so they're not, they're not all the same. But this one is pretty dope because it has like the bigger hood as well. But look at that, you guys. Can you get closer? No, just like here. Okay, he has a lot. And you can see Henry did a lot of body work. So that's what I'm telling you, it's depending on what you guys brought, but you know, you, they put that model on a touch on it because that thing looks straight. Guys, you don't do no payment plans, no payment plans, look at that. You come in cash, cash is king. And then, uh, you know, of course, you know, you probably ask for a down payment and then the final <coughs> on the end. But you know, whatever you guys ask, you know, he does it. I know you guys are asking me, is it clip-on? No, it's not clip-on. You can't do it. It's, it's modification. He has to weld it. He has to sand it down and try to look as possible with, with the truck. And as you can see, he did it multiple times. And he really has like his own little diagram to, to have everything put in. So if you know, if you ask me, the only guy that knows how to do conversions is going to be this guy right here because I, I don't see it at all especially like the this still being a new front end of the dodge it hasn't changed at all so you know if you guys need your modification this is the guy right here so again he's in compton california he does his work right here show show his spot right here he has a lot of spots he has some projects going on right now you know he even has his bronco that he's doing uh, uh engine swaps but he has the he has the room he has the spot so don't worry your shit's not gonna be outside but definitely you got any questions that people ask you, dude? Just hit me up. I'll, I'll get to y'all whenever any question. That it don't feel like y'all stupid or something. I noticed that a lot. People want to be like, oh, it might, it might be a dumb question. Nah, just ask it. Just ask it. I'll answer it if I got time. Don't worry about it. Again, shout out to my boy Henry right here. You know, of course, I, I come with a lot of work, too. So that's what I'm saying. I, I get cut in line. You know, I know you guys are like pending. <laughs> I, I probably just go in and then and, and he does some of, some of my shit. Because I, I got cars, too, you know, and I got things to do. But not as crazy as this shit, you know, modifications. But you know, if you let's do a little little small close up. And then I think that's what the uh I think this is this is final, huh? I know what's the turnaround on these projects? This is like a week, two weeks. This one took a little two weeks because the 
the client had um, couldn't find the headlight, so I was waiting for the headlights. So for sure, like a week and a half. Yeah, a week, a week and a half too. So you yeah. see, there you go, you guys. You know, like uh, it's something that's you know, you might, you might, you. Get, I know some of you guys be like, oh, it's too quick. You know, starting on the price, but you're paying for for quality. And you're 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 paying for the calidad. You know, for the work right here. So right here, it's all craftsman. This shit is craftsmanship right here. What you see, because you don't see this happening. I'm telling you, look at the fender right here. You see this part right here that he has to cut out from the old ram to the new ram. Look how look how look how straight that shit looks. It looks part of part of factory right there. And of course, maybe he came up with a dinged up bed and he sanded it down for him. But from what it looks like, this is a clean ass ride. I didn't even, I never seen it like standard height. That shit look big. It looks like uh the person doesn't have it, you know slam now that's pretty much stock uh is it a real v8 yeah it's a real v8 it's so funny. that's fucking sick so look at look at it guys look at this video and look at the previous video so you can tell the difference of the front end but this is what it is oh also i want to add a little uh, little touch you know henry give me a little background he doesn't know much of it because of course you know the customer is ain't gonna show his whole business but hey the customer seen my video, so I'm gonna put your business out there now. No, but check it out. Uh, from when I'm, I'm looking at his, his truck, it looks like he bought it like maybe uh, from an auction. I don't know because it looks like it's missing a lot of stuff. But you know, this is what I mean. Like you know, when you bring in stuff that, depending on the condition, what it is, you know, he, Henry's not gonna be scared to touch it. You know, it's, you, you're just doing a conversion, and whatever is missing, that's on you guys' behalf, depending on what a. Uh, Whatever you guys want to paint, paint job or wrap it or do whatever you want with it. But, you know, it looks like it's a, a clean ass car. How much miles is it? Like 30,000? Like 30, 40. Damn. Yeah, so that's a, that's a low mile truck and shit. Yeah. You see it's missing this, the gaskets, the trim. So I don't know if he got it in an auction. I don't know if he bought it, he got it for a good ass deal. But hey, if you're watching this, the owner of this shit, that's just clean because that shit looks like a brand new truck already. You know, all you need is your paint and your straight. I think he does have like the he had me uh five size seven VA, so this, this is perfect for everything where it has. I know it's a little dusty because you know Henry's doing a lot of sanding, but you can't judge dirt or how it looks. You know, it has, it's the craftsmanship what you see. So definitely how if you see it in person, it, it looks it looks it looks killer and stuff. You know in the previous videos, look at my truck. You know, he hooked me up on doing all this shit too, you know? So I'm telling you, he does other shit. Hooked me up with the lights. If you guys can remember, I probably had it all, uh, all white chrome. Now I have everything black trim, blacked out trim. And then all the accessories is because of this guy here. But I'm gonna end the video, not here, but I'm gonna end it right here at his shop. But again, say goodbye, Henry. Till next time. <laughs> Till the next one. We just got out the gym, and then pretty much how am I gonna end the vlog? We're gonna check out the spot right here in by uh, LA. It's a famous chef. Uh, I don't I don't really know much detail about it, but pretty much he has a family-owned business in that same uh, plaza, and he pretty much opened up his restaurant. And I think he opened it like 2019 in that year. It, it says Michelin star. I don't know how Michelin stars work. I don't know if it was through restaurants or through the chef. I, I assume it's through the restaurant. I don't think chefs gives Michelin stars. It's the restaurants, right? But apparently he got it twice from 2019 and 2021. And so is it a two star Michelin star restaurant? But we're going to check it out because it's right here by the DMV. If you know uh, downtown LA, we're talking about the DV that's right there off of Expo Exposition Boulevard. And we're gonna check out the spot right here and, and, and get some good ass food right here. Cause I, ne I never thought uh, that restaurant was right there. It's been a while since I've been in this, uh, this, this spot right here. I think the last time I came here was like 2017. Like, I'm gonna check it out. So, pretty much the DV is over there. And if you, you know, I, there used to be a walkway. I don't know if they still have it, but pretty much you enter from this building and you enter, there's a, a bunch of restaurants. It was never this packed before, but now they have all this stuff that's going on right now. 
and this is the restaurant that we're talking about. And pretty much this restaurant has a uh, specialized in seafood. There's scallops or, or tilapia. And this is why we're here. Big menu of it. And so right now, what they're known for is the tacos de pulpo. And what that is, tacos de pulpo, is pretty much octopus taco. And of course, we got the Baja style fish taco. And then your boy got the agua chiles de camarón. All right, guys, so in total, we paid 50 bucks. It's kind of expensive, but what do you expect from like a Michelin star restaurant? But uh, definitely what, I, what caught me off guard, you know, like uh, I thought sparkly lemonade was like maybe like one of these bottles. But I was noticing like, hey, they're making something right there. And I'm like, oh man, I feel left out. But pretty much just what it was. <laughs> so it's a sparkly lemonade. I think it's like four bucks, not that bad. Uh, but what, what really caught me off guard, they make this hot sauce and this hot sauce is pretty good. This is a Chipotle regular habanero, but this guy is like really good. It's called roasted habanero chili so pretty much you put in your anything you want to put on but the flavor is so good it tastes like a lot of garlic uh, a lot of like that roasted pepper and it has like a, a, a robust flavor you know you can really like taste like the pepper and it, of course it is spicy so i mean if you guys come here for sure don't don't skip on this one uh, on this right here so we got this ready you know i got my coke because I, I like coke Give me some, some chips. So right now I'm gonna taste this right now. Damn, that's pretty good. It's pretty much like a like a agua fresca, like orange juice, but they put like a, like Pierre water. Guys, that's what they're doing. They're putting up Pierre water, and that's how they get that sparkling. So it's a, it's a pretty good drink, refreshing drink. So highly recommend that drink as well. And of course, you know, from, from Mariscos, you know, a little coke. Alright, so check it out, you guys. This is the shrimp agua chiles. So I know it's not like a huge plate, but definitely there's something that's, you know, has to be presentable how it is. From what I read, it's uh, crispy heads, so that's something maybe I'm gonna chew on. But for sure, you can smell like the flavor of like the peppers and like the serranos that you make on with chiles. But definitely check it out. Oh shit, this is fucking bomb. <laughs> so they, they fried this. So it's like a potato chip. But like, it, got, it got mean as hell. Wow, we gotta try that. I thought it's not edible, but it's edible. Alright, I'm not done with it. I'm not done with it yet. Let me get some of that juice. Wow, that's a big shrimp. That's a big shrimp. Hang up. Take it out carefully. To the side. I'm gonna dip it a little bit. I'm about halfway. This is a big shrimp. Wow, oh, that's fire. <laughs> wow. Speechless. Alright, guys. I was speechless. I had to. Step my way back. That's a really big shrimp. It's really fresh. And I was talking to my uh, my girl about this. I'm like, man, I have I have particular like I like marisco a lot, and I like the agua chile. But there's not there's one agua chile spot that I like a lot, and it's right here too. It's close by. It's right here in Avalon, and it's a food truck. And they they sell it Nayarit style. So pretty much the broth is, I think, like a mango sweet juice. And it's fresh as well. But you know what? This is like top set above 
just because of the quality of the shrimp. Like, let me pick one up. It's so big. It's so fresh. And and, and you know and, and you know what makes it like uh, stand out is that they give you they cut the head and they and they fry it up for you. And if you look in the back, you get a little piece of that shrimp meat. You bite it into it and you bite it like a chip. Look at that. That's fire. I'm about to rank him. This is my number one. Oh, which is it? Number two. If you guys are interested in uh, seeing my number two spot, let me know down in the comments below. It's right here close by. It's Nayari style. This part. All right. So right now we have the Baja tacos and then the famous Pulpo taco. So right here, I don't have high expectation for the Baja style one because there's a lot of Baja style. They're so great, you know. And in me, opinion, taco is a taco, right? But what stands out, this is different, it's, it's octopus. Thing is, what's special about this place right here, they make their own tortilla. Like they even have the machine and, and make corn flour, not corn flour, corn tortillas, which is yellow corn. But everything's pretty much handmade right here. And so, I have high expectation on this one, not, not this one so much. Of course, we have our uh, salsa that we, So right now, I'm gonna prep it right now, and then I'll get back to you right now. All right, uh, octopus taco. Okay. Wow, look at that. Like onion, huh? I'll put a chipotle bite on this, right? octopus was cooked to perfection it wasn't no tough it felt like meat it was like nice and thick <sighs> pretty good especially i spiced it up with chipotle and roasted habanero and so that was really good now i'm gonna try the baja style right now like i said i'm not i'm not too uh i'm not gonna go crazy over it but i'll let you know how it tastes let's see how it tastes It's like a, like a garlic aioli. That shit got me off guard. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wow. I think I like this more than the octopus. I'm gonna let the camera girl try it out. I'll get back to you right now. Wow, wow, wow. That one caught me off guard. It's one of the, it's one of the best baja tacos I tried. There's many baja tacos I like, but this one has like a lot of like flavors. And then the only one that makes it close to it is like my girl. She makes like a garlic, like a sour cream version of it. But they use like something like mayo base. But that's an underdog right now. As you can see, guys, empty plates. Whole box got damn. They got down. I ain't gonna lie. Only reason why that like, caught me off guard, the taco, because I like flavors that's like, how do you say, loud, like lime. That's like a very like punchy flavor, right? Garlic, you know. That's that's my type of tea right there. Those type of flavors. And then the octopus taco. That was really good. Really meaty very savory it, it, it really felt like meat and then it had like a roasty flavor it's so you know good thing i got the chipotle because i complimented it more we, we all know uh, chipotle is like more barbecuey and more roasted so it, it, it went well with the taco but if you ask me when i come back 
Hell yeah. I will come back. Definitely come back. I, I, I will actually want to bring like friends or like family to come check out check out this place <clears throat> and also try other things because it looks like they have other stuff you know ceviche oysters you know like that's those are things that they're known here as well but we, we were trying to play it safe and get like you know the common taco and then of course our chile but for sure next time we're gonna try more things and then like i said if, if you guys did like this video please Please like and subscribe and comment below what do you guys think about this joint and let me know if you guys want to check out the other Albert Chili spot because that's another spot that I do like and honestly if I had top top five I'll be this is rank number one now because number one was the other one but for sure the other one is number two rank and it's still in the top top tier and then I get like I said this, this is the spot right here you know if you're ever down by downtown LA by the DMV Come check it out. It's a it's a really uh, low key spot right here, and it's not even that pack. It's kind of crazy. So see you on the next vlog.